Okay, find a nice comfortable seat. And let's just imagine a grounding cord from your sit bones down deep into the earth. See if you can feel this sensation of coming home, leaving this world of pain and chaos and coming back to this place. Just feeling really grounded, really settled, really clear. Now imagine inhaling up the spine all the way to the crown in your head and filling your entire body with this breath, this prana, this life force. Feel the exhale slowly washing down you like water, clearing the slate. See if you can keep this devoted, intentional breathing, letting every single breath be a chance to start again, to clear the slate, to soften just a little bit. And just drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and start to make big slow circles with your head and your neck. Imagine your breath as this healing ointment, taking it to any place you feel stuck. Inhale, come back to center, find a little more length. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder, circles other direction. Same slow, steady breath. Inhale back to center, lengthen, take the biggest breath. Hold on to it a little bit longer than you think is possible, a little bit longer than you want to. Keep it going. Make the exhale just as slow and long. Soften your shoulders, your jaw. After you're empty, empty a little more and a little more. Get it all out. Inhale the arms up. Squeeze the palms together, reach up. Exhale, turn and twist to the right. Keep your chin parallel to the ground so your neck can be long. Keep rooting down into the sit bones, keeping that grounding cord. Inhale up the spine, fill all the way up. Let that exhale wash down your body as it softens your shoulders. Inhale, come back to center, press the sit bones down, reach up. Exhale, turn and twist to the left. Inhale, come back to center, squeeze the palms and then draw the hands through heart center and bring the hands down by your sides. Now we're just gonna come back into a child's pose. You can spread your knees wide and bring your big toes together or you can keep your knees together. Oh, look who's on my neck, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, mister. Stay with that breath devoting yourself to staying focused on this breath instead of the other million things you could be thinking about or worrying about. Letting this breath consume every bit of your mind, of your body. Essentially using the breath to fill you all the way up so you can empty all the way out. Letting go of our story, letting go of our past and just allowing this moment to fill us all the way up.
Interlace your fingers back behind your sit bones and reach your arms up towards your head. Press the sit bones back just a little more and then soften through the shoulders, through the jaw. Breathe into any tension in the neck. Keeping your bind slowly come up. Find a little backward bend as you lift the heart. Maybe you drop the head back. And release your bind. Bring your knees together and your feet together. Curl your toes under and sit back on your heels. Start to feel the arches of your feet opening. Allow it to happen. and slowly release your feet, pat them out a little bit. Again, knees and feet together, sit back on your heels and try to lift the knees up, opening the fronts of the feet now. Try not to lean back too much so you're not using your weight to lift you up. If you don't need your hands to balance, you can bring them to your heart. and release. Now we're gonna turn our hands around so the back of our wrists are facing the front of the mat and start to breathe into any tension or stuckness there. Maybe finding a little movement. And then turn your hands back around and lift the knees, come up into a plank pose, pressing back to the heels as you shine the heart forward. See if you can lift the quads up off the knees and lift everything up a little higher as you press down through the hands. We'll roll to the outside edge of the left foot and peel the right hand up. If you need to drop the left knee, that's okay. Keep the hips lifting. Slowly come back to plank and roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Reach the left hand up. Slowly come back to plank, lower the knees down, and then rock forward and slowly lower the chest down. Lower the chin, but leave the booty in the air and take a deep breath into the low back maybe wagging your tail just a little bit. And then flattening all the way down onto the stomach, untucking the toes. Now reach your hands back by your sides with your palms facing up. Press into the feet and first imagine pulling your heart forward as you roll the shoulders back and lift the heart up. Now soften through the shoulders, press into the feet. Breathe into the low back. Maybe you can lift up just a little more. And release hands under shoulders. Curl the toes. Press it back through child's pose. And lift it up, downward facing dog. Move around however you like here. Maybe pedal it out. Maybe sway the hips. Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Let that inhale lift you halfway up and fill you all the way up. Exhale, fold, spread your feet as wide as the hips, maybe even wider. Grab the elbows and start to sway. Finding some fluid movement, keeping your knees bent. Back to center, release your arms, step your feet a little closer together and slowly round up, pressing down through the feet, arms and head heavy. 
lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, let them sink down. And we're just gonna shake the hands and the fingers out. Keep rooting into the feet. Keep that slow and steady breath. Keep that slow and steady mind. But shake your fingers really hard and really fast and get some, some chi moving here. Notice there's a way you can shake them that kind of feels like you're whipping them around. And there's a way you can almost like vibrate where it's like a little less impact. Couple more seconds, let your whole arms and your shoulders shake too. And then bring those palms right onto the heart, the left and then the right on top. Putting all of this energy that you just loosened up right here into your heart space. See if you can stay focused on that heart space by taking your breath there and residing right there instead of behind your eyes. As we begin to do this moving meditation, we'll inhale the arms up, exhale right back down. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, step back to plank, lower knees, chest, chin, empty all the air. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settle in here for a couple of breaths. Shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. <laughs> Inhale, lift up halfway and exhale, fold. When you're completely empty, press into the feet. Inhale to rise up, find a little backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart and hands down by your sides. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, baby cobra. Meeting back and downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Keep the foot flexed, keep the hips level. Find balance through both feet, through both arms. Let your head be heavy, your neck be soft. Draw the shoulders out of the ears a little bit as you hollow up the armpits, turn them in towards the face. Now lift the right foot a little higher as you come up on the tippy toes. Then exhale, draw your knee all the way to your nose and step it through like crescent lunge. Press the right knee forward to sink in a little more. Draw the right hip back to get the hips in line. Reach up out of the waist a little more. Let this exhale soften your shoulders. Bring your hands to your heart. Turn and twist to the right. Keep pressing the right knee over second toe. Twist your heart towards the thumbs. Inhale, length from the heel all the way up to the crown. Exhale, softness anywhere you can. Slowly step the left foot forward to meet the right, keeping your twist, keeping the booty low. Keep your belly in. Now open the arms up. Gaze up at the right hand and roll that right shoulder back. Stay seated in the chair, lift your upper body, gaze back at the right hand as you draw the left hip back to keep them both facing forward. Slowly step the left foot back, find that reverse crescent as the right hand drops to the left thigh and the left hand reaches high. Cartwheel hands down. Now shoot the right foot all the way up, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips. Let your head stay heavy, let your breath stay deep. And slowly come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left foot, keep it flexed. Find the balance between your legs, between your arms, between your inhale and your exhale. Level the hips out, relax your head a little more. Inhale, come up higher, shoot the leg up higher. Exhale, draws the knee to the nose, step it through like crescent lunge. Set it up. Bring your hands to your heart, turn and twist to the left. 
Check in with the left knee. Twist the heart towards the thumbs. Inhale, where can you lengthen? Exhale, where can you soften? Slowly step the right foot forward, sit deeper in the chair. Belly in, open the arms, gaze up, roll the left shoulder back. Stay seated in the chair as you lift up, raising back the left hand, throwing the right hip back. Slowly step the right foot back, find that reverse crescent, other side. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the left foot up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips, head stays heavy, breath stays deep, twist open. And come back downward facing dog. Settle in here for a couple of breaths. Now step your feet off the mat and then even a little bit wider if you can. Walk your hands back towards your feet just a little bit and just find a really wide leg downward facing dog. Pressing through the hands to lift the sit bones up and back. Maybe playing with coming up on the tippy toes and then sinking back into the heels. Now slowly walk your feet back onto the mat. Inhale, shoot the right foot back. Find the balance and slowly walk the hands back. Lift your torso so it's parallel to the ground. Point the toes down so that right hip is facing the ground. Press back through the heel. Find that balance between the legs and peel the right hand up as the toes roll open now to stack the hips. So you can get your torso parallel to the ground, maybe even lifting the left fingertips up off the ground. Stay with your breath to find your balance. Balancing the inhale and exhale to balance your mind and your body. Lower the right hand down, let the head fall low as the foot shoots high into standing split. And then slowly come to standing, bring the right knee with you, lift it up high. Cross the right ankle over the left knee and sit back into that figure four. Softening in. Don't pretend you do yoga. My boyfriend's pretending he does yoga right now, but he doesn't. Slowly come up, lift your right knee up high, bring your hands to your hips and then straighten that right leg out. Keep your toe pointed, lift a little higher. And release, release the right foot down to meet the left. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, lengthen forward. Walk your hands forward, find your plank. Roll to the outside of the left foot, peel the right hand up. Reach the right arm up alongside the ear if you like. Keep lifting through the hips, softening through the shoulders, breathing deep and slow. Come back to plank, Lower, roll to the right side. Reach the left arm up and maybe over. Slowly come back to plank, optional vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Lift the left foot up, find the balance between the legs, between the arms, slowly walk the hands back, lifting the torso till it's parallel, point the toes down, press back through the heel. And really find that exact same amount of pressure rooting into the right foot as you are rooting back through the left foot. And peel the left hand up. Now open the toes towards the long edge to stack the hips and stack the shoulders. Lift the upper body just a little bit more to get it parallel to the ground. As you root back through that heel and roll that left hip back. Lower the left hand, drop the head, fold in as the leg shoots up a little higher. I'm just standing, bring the left knee with you, lift it up high and then cross the ankle over the knee, bring the hands to the heart, soften in.
Bring your hands to your hips, straighten that leg out, point the toe, lift it high, engage your core, stay with your breath and release. Inhale the arms up, exhale swan dive. Walk it forward into plank. Slowly walk or slide the feet back lower to forearm plank. Feel the length from your heels to your crown, soften through the traps, the jaw, the shoulders, and roll to the outside of your left foot. Peel your right hand up. Feel your core engaging here as you draw the low belly in and up, drawing the pubic bone up towards the navel. Slowly come back to that forearm plank and start to rock forward and back. Roll to the outside edge of your right foot. Peel your left hand up. Lower the left forearm back down. Now walk the feet in, let the booty go up like dolphin. Let the head be heavy, let the traps be soft. If you wanna play with lifting one leg or play with kicking up, go right ahead. Whenever you're done playing, we'll find a child's pose. Either your knees spread wide and your big toes touching or your knees together. Coming back home. Recommitting to being completely devoted to letting this breath be our everything for the next 30 minutes. Just letting all the troubles, all the worries fade into the background. Letting this moment be all that we need Slowly come back up, downward facing dog. Lift your right foot up. We're gonna shake that right foot and right leg out now. Keep pressing into your hands evenly. Let your head stay heavy and really shake it out. Again, trying to feel more of like a vibration than a whipping your leg around. And release, lift that left foot up, shake it out. And release, slowly step your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. <clears throat> Lift the right foot up into tree pose. Find that balance point. Bring your hands to your heart. Again, creating that grounding core from your foot down into the center of the earth. And imagine growing up taller, reaching for the sun. And now we're gonna place that right ankle on the left knee again, come back into that figure four and either just sink in here a little deeper or we can turn and twist to the left, hooking the elbow on the bottom of the foot or you can hinge forward and reach your fingers down towards the ground. Stay with your breath. Slowly come up, lift that knee up high. Reach the hands up high. Step back into crescent lunge. Keep your heart lifted, interlace your fingers behind you. Lift your heart, find a little backward bend and then hinge forward, drop your head inside the knee. Let your head be heavy as you press the left knee forward more. Draw the right heel back. Now spin the right heel down and drag your body over to the right, finding a wide leg forward fold with your bind. Shake your head a little bit. Lower the hands down to the ground. Inhale, use them to lift halfway up. And exhale, fold. Walk your hands back between your legs. Fingers point back away from you. As you pull your head down towards the ground, 
Dropping a little weight into the balls of the feet. Walk your hands back under your shoulders and then walk them back over to the left foot. Turn all your toes to face forward. Now root all your weight into your left foot and shoot your right foot all the way up into standing splits. Grabbing the back of your calf or your ankle to pull yourself in just a little bit deeper. And then set the right foot down to meet the left. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up, find a big backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart and hands down by your sides. Lift your left foot up into tree pose now. Rooting down into that right foot. Growing roots down deep into the earth. Reaching up for the sun and even beyond. Now place that ankle on the knee and sit into that figure four, settling in for a couple breaths and maybe taking that twist to the right or reaching the fingers down towards the ground. Slowly come up, lift that knee high, reach the hands high, step back, crescent lunge. Set it up, keep the heart lifted, interlace the fingers, Take a little backward bend and then lean forward. Drop your head inside as the arms reach up and over. Right knee pressing forward, left heel pressing back. Drag your body towards the left. Find that wide leg forward fold. Release your hands down. Use them to lift up halfway and exhale to fold. Now any arm variation you like here, maybe you grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers. Maybe you reach around and grab, step on all 10 fingers in the middle of your foot. Maybe you just walk your hands back between your feet like we did before. Bring your hands back under your shoulders, walk them towards the right foot, turn all your toes to face forward, root down into the right foot, shoot the left foot all the way up into standing splits, head gets heavy. Maybe you reach around and grab the calf of the ankle to pull yourself into that fold just a little bit deeper. And then set the left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Lower your right knee down. Draw the toes back like half splits or maybe start to wiggle the left heel forward coming towards full splits. Curl the right toes under, send that left foot back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips. And come back downward facing dog. Shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, step the left foot back, lower the left knee down. Draw the right toes back like half splits. Maybe slide the right heel forward a little bit. Lower the right foot down, curl the left toes under, shoot the right foot up and back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips, and come back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, lift the right foot up high, come up on the toes. Exhale, right knee, right wrist, half pigeon pose. Wiggle the left toes back a little bit. Try to level the hips. Walk your hands forward. See if your forehead can rest all the way down. And then maybe you want to try box breathing. Maybe you want to find three or four count equal parts of inhale, pause, exhale, pause. Or maybe you just want to make the inhale and exhale as long as possible and finding that tiny little hesitation or pause between. But really intentionally breathe here. Imagine your breath is creating this, this force field, creating this little safe cocoon so that your body can let go of some of this tension that it's created to protect you. Imagine it just with your energy and your attention to the breath, that you can create this feeling of safety to allow your body to really soften by not allowing any of the worries of the world to penetrate into this bubble, by actually physically creating this space with our intention, with our breath, and then allowing ourselves to heal in this space, allowing your nervous system to have a break. One more breath, make it the breath you've been waiting for. Let it all go right here. And come back up onto your hands. Curl the left toes, shoot the right foot up and back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips, twisting open. Come back, downward facing dog, settle in here. Inhale, lift the left foot high, come up on the toes, exhale, left knee, left wrist, half pigeon pose. Wiggle the right toes back. Lengthen up through the crown. Walk your hands forward. Sink right in. One more chance to let it all go. Come up onto your hands, curl the right toes, shoot the left foot up and back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips, and come back downward facing dog. Now lower the knees down to the ground. We're gonna sit back between our heels, maybe rolling the big calf muscles out of the way so we can sit right back between our heels. Maybe you'll need to sit up on something. Maybe you just stay right here and this is enough. Or maybe you start to lower your body back behind you, lowering down to one elbow at a time. Stay with that intentional breath. And then we'll slowly release the legs out in front, maybe shake them out a little bit. 
And then we'll bring the right heel right up into the center line of the body, trying to lower the right knee down. Kick out through the left heel and then we'll reach for that foot. Find that really intentional breath, allowing yourself to soften with each exhale. And slowly release that right leg, maybe shake it out and bring that left foot into the center, kick through the right heel, reach for the foot. Slowly release that left foot forward, maybe shake it out. Inhale the arms up, find length in your spine as you hinge forward, reaching for the feet. Lift through the heart and pull your heart towards the feet. And release, bring your feet flat on the ground and then lift them up off the ground, coming into a boat or a canoe here, squeezing the legs together, lifting through the heart. Inhale, lengthen to a hover, looking for the feet, reaching for the feet, feeling the strength through the whole body. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Now lower your feet flat on the ground. Use your hands to line those feet up with the sit bones. Press into the feet and lift the hips up. Maybe you interlace the fingers beneath you, getting the shoulders under the body by rocking side to side a little bit. Find that intentional breath. Find a deep backward bend. If you need a break, come on down for a couple breaths and then you can take one more or you can hold it here for a couple more breaths. And slowly release, hug your knees into your chest. And we're gonna come into a plow pose, see if you can get those toes to touch the ground behind your head. Find that intentional breath. Let each exhale help you soften here.
Bring your hands to your low back, come up into a shoulder stand. Drop it back into that plow for a couple breaths and really let something go here. Then use your hands as the brakes to slowly roll out one vertebrae at a time. Once the feet are pointing straight up at the ceiling, flex your feet, press out through the heels. We'll take 20 seconds to lower the legs. If you have a tricky low back, slide those hands under the booty with the palms facing down. Keep kicking out through the heels, keep squeezing the legs together. We're not even halfway. Pull the belly in. Soften through the face and the shoulders. 10 more seconds. Maybe you want to pop up into a fish once your feet lower all the way down. Or maybe you just want to hug your knees into your chest. Now we'll find a happy baby. Lower your feet down flat on the ground. Cross your right knee over your left. Shift your hips to the right and lower your knees to the left. You can have the arms cactus or straight out to the sides like a T. Gaze over the right hand. Find that really intentional breath and allow yourself to soften here in this safe space you've created. Just by moving beyond all those thoughts, all those worries, all the lists, coming home to this place of peace where we can allow our bodies to unwind. Last chance to really let something go here. And slowly unwind back to center, hug your knees in. Lower your feet, cross the left knee over, cactus the arms, shift the hips to the left and lower the knees to the right, gazing out over the left hand. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest one last time. And then let your legs go long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. And enjoy this space you just created. You just worked hard. Now let your body absorb all the benefits of this practice. by just allowing this moment to be exactly as it is.
All of our thoughts are essentially us trying to make this moment a little different than it is. See if you can go beyond the thoughts and let go just a little bit more. Invite a deeper breath back into your body. Invite movement back into your fingers and into your toes. And invite yourself to stay in this place of calm that you've cultivated. See if even as those thoughts come back in, if you can continue to use your breath to create this safe space where you know that essentially no matter what happens out there in the world and even once this body stops, that there's this place of peace that we can reside in now, that we can reside in then. And when you're ready, roll onto either side.
And take your time coming back up to a seat. We'll take one last big inhale together to bring the hands together over the head. And we'll exhale to draw the hands to the heart. See if we can commit to staying in this place of peace, no matter what chaos the world throws at us today. Remembering to take that little breath, having that little buffer between you and the reaction, trying to be a little more receptive, a little less reactive. Put the thumbs to the space above the eyebrows and take a moment to thank the universe for holding space for us. Namaste.